Greetings everyone, and great here have another Cup Heroes 1 replay. Spawn on the south or right side as US forces or Vagavon. Spawn on the right side as the other US force forces. We have Wa Z Li, I think. Spawn as the Panzer Elite forces, we have Grave Digger, and spawn as the other Panzer Elite player, we have Jimmy Chu. And I noticed the the Wa Z Li was speaking a foreign language, so he may not be able to read or write English. The so one of them is lagging a little bit. Hopefully it's not a full lag out. If it is lags out turn into an, uh, an AI, I will back up the replay because let's face it, AI and company heroes have never been good and company heroes 3 did not make it any better. Over here, do have engineers capturing up the front line, or soon to be front line for the U.S. forces. Engineers and Kenograd may spot each other. Jeep deployed on the field, a rifleman there. Kenograd and Pencil Grenadiers just going straight for the fuel, eyeing for some munitions points. May want to eye for that munitions point there, because it is a cutoff point. No one gave just yet. The southern U.S. player, the current one we have selected, the blue player is I just a captain center just trying to capture sectors get some resources going and now the jeep is advancing forward Our engineers do take a bit of damage here and the Kenograd is kept at the fuel point jeep is advancing forward getting a bit of chip damage there onto the Panzer Grenadiers Panzer Grenadiers engaging jeep jeep has took quite a bit of damage right there he best fall back no no Dr. Suckage just yet for this Pencil Elite player. Rifleman Squad advance forward, trying to eye for a bit of light cover here. Engineers now advance forward to the fuel point. You note this is his teammate a Rifleman there, so he's escorting out. Ken and Grad trying to knock around the Rifleman as well as Engineers. Engineers trying to go some tank traps there to stop the Ken and Grad from knocking around the Rifleman. Doing a good job of that. Engineer or the Jeep has a can, an engine crit there. Ken and Grad trying to advance around behind the Jeep. Jeep's taking a bit of damage there. Another Jeep advancing on forward, this time from his teammate. And now his engineers are trying to push over there to repair up the Jeep now. This Jeep is doing a good job of knocking around these Panzer Grenadiers. Engineers are rapidly repairing up the Jeep. I don't think the Panzer Grenadiers will be able to engage. In fact, they've probably healed up enough before the engineers just turn around and start shooting the Panzer Grenadiers. And now all these forces are falling back. Can I grab this here? Engineers do capture the sector. And I heard a uh, squad was lost. Looks like he may have lost a pan an engineer a right there. Being seized. And these pans grenadiers are falling on back. Fresh squad or rifleman squad advance on forward. Maybe want to eye for a bit of light cover first. Oops, I forgot to close my uh one of my rooms where the furnace is at, so I do hear it a little bit. My apologies. You may hear it as well. Jeep advance on four, getting a bit of damage on the Panzer Grenadiers. And Jeep is moving around. Knock around the Panzer Grenadiers. Allowing the rifle squad advance forward with impunity, though they're in negative ground for the moment. May want eye for this little bit of light cover there, which he does. Best focus on this exposed Panzer Grenadier. Another rifle squad advance forward as well. They've been damaged on this Panzer Grenadier squad, and this Panzer Grenadier squad does get forced back with too much damage there. Panzer Grenadier took may get wiped out there. It's still in pursuit. We've got the Kenograd here as well. Does get slowed down by the crater, and looks like still being pursued. We've got another Panzer Grenadier here. Is at full health? No longer full health. And this Panzer Grenadier does draw a bit of fire there away from the retreating back Panzer Grenadier. So Russian squad advancing forward, trying to get a bit of damage on the Jeep. And this Jeep is advancing forward, getting some damage there. Both these Jeeps just constantly firing away now. And this Panzer Grenadier squad does fall back now. Black Irvings gaining some good damage there onto the Jeep. Let's keep the Jeep at bay. Panzer Grenadier is advancing on forward. Oh, two of them severely wounded. Jeep, a little bit wounded. And Rifle Squad now seems some auto cannon fire from the 2 2 2. 
He probably does not have sticky bombs at the moment. A little bit too early to get sticky bombs, but not too early enough for the armor car to be put on the field. Is Ryan Squatch on to decapture the fuel point? Successful. May want to retreat back. Those retreat back. Over here, I got a rifle squad's engineer advancing my way forward. Kind of grand to capture at this point. And this 2 2 does find a rifle squad forcing him back as well. Got a mass retreat coming out for the allied players. Need some anti tank assets. They may want to deploy out. Maybe it's probably too early for rangers as well. I think they don't even have one command point for this player we have currently selected. Supply yard has not been completed for this player. He needs an eye for a motor pool as soon as he can. Advancing way forward. Jeep's taking a bit of auto cannon fire now. Begin armored operations. Armored operations are now available. Rifle squad has seen a bit of damage here. And Jeep is taking more abuse. Jeep does manage to skip away. Nope, he's going to try to get puts down Jeep's art. Some of the resilient facade on uh, cannon fire, but does pick that one off. Backing on off. Rifle squads here, all of them quite wounded there. He can slowly pick apart. He does still some good heavy cover in this region. So there's just a large number of 2 2s. There's currently like three, four 2 2s on the field. Rifle squad is going forward. Hands going to do his iron just fight. Fight from some heavy cover there, and this reference squad does fall back. There's a landmine. Those destroyed both engines, both the Jeep and on the 2 2 2 is trying to crawl away now. And we've got a medic station here. No casualty recovered, and likely will get gunned down. That's a large round of fire here. Yep. We do have a motor pool float on the field. I am for our M18 gun. Try to repair up this 2 2, two. does have his engine repaired. He may just. Okay, it's going to just need to either repair it. Making some good progress onto it. Rifle and squad is still a bit wounded. Rifle and squads, engineers making their advance. Good damage there. Anti gun does get a pen there onto the armored car. Got a massive blob by both players. It's just shooting gallery, and they're all severely wounded. They need to get a triage center up as soon as they can because they desperately need the healing. Two is doing a good job of cutting around these forces. There's four of them in this region. Two or three from one player, one from the other. Down here, we do have a Kettengrad, another 2 to 2, deployed out by the person who has uh, three 2 to 2, so he has four 2 to 2s. 57 crew ready for Anti-tank crew, ready. This One of these rifle squad does have a level of veteran C. No, oh, we do have a here, deployed by his teammate. Very nice. Got a grad, a little bit wounded. No doctors appear to be selected there. And we do have a doctor selected here. It appears to be, is that, it looks like the booby trap equipment. I'm having trouble looking at it, but that looks like booby trap equipment, which means he's gone for scorched earth. There we go. Oh, trying to look. Yep, that's definitely booby trap equipment. Kind of grad does get gunned down. This 2 2 is facing forward with a handful of Pans Grandiers behind them, but all of them are very wounded as well. Everybody's just fighting with wounded personnel. And engineers and riflemen squads make their way back. His teammate has two rifle squads here. Caching clearing station or the triage center here, getting some much needed health regen. And now we do have this Pans Grandier receiving a bit of fire. Literary, I may add. Out 
do have a landmine there. No longer. AT gun taking some pot shots here. And we're gonna move forward. Do have plenty of heavy cover to fight from? These two wooden squads are staying behind cover, which is good. These two two twos are making their advance, destroy a incomplete anti tank uh, trap there. And yes, Prince Grenadier squad does fall back. These Prince Grenadiers may want to fall back with the suit as well, getting out overran. And one squad does fall back. These two two make their advance. One of them is severely wounded. Pick a gun down. The does get damage to the crit there. Like the gun down now. These two two makes their advance. Out of control there. As Panzer of Grenadiers to be seeing a bit of fire there. It does get forced back. That it, oh, there's a Greyhound. That was that shot from. Looked a little bit too heavy to be a AT gun shot. We do have Mortar Half Track here. Another Panzer Grenadier. Yep. Greyhound's not fully upgraded. US player we currently have selected has not selected like Doctrine. This engineer needs to get over here to, to the tree roster to get healed up. These the Ostrain now. squads need every health they can get. But it's on the Panzer Grenadiers. Now this rocket squad does fall back there. Objective secure. Rifle squad defend. I got a bad feeling so about this over. Sir. Rifle squads do took a bit of damage there. Order half track barraging over here, maybe? Does get a good hit there on the AT gun. Our riflemen and flaming jurors make their advance. Light half track taking some pot shots. And the auto can does get a good hit there as well. Two riflemen squads now advance on the northern flank while the engineers pulling out a machine gun nest. Incident right, mortar does get a decent hit there. Making their advance, getting some good damage there. One rifle squad just got wiped out. Nope, he still has a model remaining. Barely though. Greyhound firing away, gets fully mobilized by the light TF track. More half track now trying to barrage down the Greyhound. Actually got the direct hit there on those uh, riflemen. Sticky Bomb has been researched for the US player returning out selected. He does keep this uh, more half track away. He may be a good idea to just go for the light TF track. You may want to just throw a Sikom on there. Panzer Track does. Or the Mortar Half Track does finish off the Greyhound. No engine crit there on the Mortar Half Track. Multiple Panzer Tracks and a G43 squad advancing up the north. That's Rifle Squad and Flame Engineer. Could get some good damage. Does pin down the Flame Engineer. Squads do fall back. Rifle squads still units. plenty healthy. Light vehicles may now advance. Capture territory. And US player we have selected does select armor. Let's see his teammate. Doesn't appear to have a doctrine selected. Not a lot of resources in the moment. Does have a tank depot. Has a Hellcat on the field. Hellcat be good versus all of these uh two two twos. As lead player number two has a large reserve manpower, has, has all the structures for the Panthers. Not sure about the enemy. research themselves. Booby trap has been triggered. Incendiary trap. And Panzer Grenadier, as lead player number one, has plenty of manpower, has all the structures for Panthers. And so they also have a very similar build order of a crap load of mortar half tracks and two to twos. Bounce on the hay barrel. Bounce on the hay bale. I love that. And there it goes. That didn't bounce. So, may see four Panthers on the build queue are deployed out relatively soon. Let's keep this US player selected for the time being. 
don't know about if when we know have what we do know that one player's went for scorch earth. We don't know about the other player. Up north we have the two twos making their advance. Thirty count placement seem bit of fire there. There's some landmines here as well. The placement does go down. Enemy Looks like the Kennegrad goes down as well. Flaming Shooters making their advance. Does get a hit there. What about there on the Hello Cats? The Ant does not make a way forward. We could see some sticky bombs from these riflemen. I assume that's the player that has like, researched the sticky bombs. I believe that was. We got three, two sticky bombs into that Panther. We got four Panthers just heading up north. Hello Cats backing on, on off. AT guns trying to find a shot there on the Panther. There's exposed armor right here with no engine crit, actually. The other one has the engine crit. Flame engineers receiving fire and sending fire. Rifle squad is eyeing to or actually trying to recruit those Hellcats. Another sneak bomb there. Both of them in Oz damage and crit there. AT gun is still alive, needs to be tasked farther forward. Rifle squad is trying to overrun with sticky bombs. Oops, I hit my microphone. Fire squads getting a couple more sticky bombs with this one. It looks like two, could be three. It was really hard for me to tell. Either way, it's fully mobilized, almost dead. And the other US player has now gotten uh, sticky bombs. We see this 2 2 getting hit. AT gun trying to get some shots there. Panther has been destroyed. These two Panthers have plenty of health. And we've got a mass treat not coming out. AT gun does get overran. Over here, AT guns push away forward. The Hellcats. Uh, back on off. They've been most repaired. Just one a little bit scratched up. Damage and crit there onto the armored car. Got a mortar almost taking out that wounded one. This one does go down to an AT gun. Damage and crit there from a landmine. Flame engineer is now falling on back. And the wounded one looks like uh, armored car will escape on out of there. Have the machine gun placement starting to receive some fire. Rifleman squads for 24, trying to throw some sticky bombs there on the Panther. Rolls a miss there, sticky bombs are about to connect on the Panther. This Our, uh, Hellcat does go down. Does have an engine crit on this one here, so it finds not more damage. Allied War Machine now available for this current US player. He does have two Hellcats which charge the way forward. He has enough munitions for it. One Panther does go down there. Panther and Mortar half track in this region. Mortar's now raining in over here. Rifle squads engaged the high ground. The Hellcats throwing around into them. Two, three Pennsylvania in this region. One scout armored car as well. Squads does get a sticky bomb there onto the Panther. We do actually have a Burgantica exploit on the field. That sticky bomb has been thrown. Burgantica could try to cover this Panther up here. Rifle squads 
The number that went down there, what they I wonder if they just threw themselves in the treads getting a good amount of crushes. Burger Tiga having a hard time moving around. AT gun shots not connecting with the AT gun in the region. It's probably a good idea not to push forth the Burger Tiga. Hellcat charges way forward, gets a good yep. rear armor pen. Boom trap has been triggered. Flame engineer is not being micro at the moment. Looks like they will explode. Another Panther here. Allied War Machine has been activated. One Hellcat does go down. This one's submitted. Wounded 18 gun shot finding some fire support. I think both of them have gone for armor, haven't they? Yep, yeah, both have gone for armor. Both of them have gone for the Calliope line. Fully immobilized there. Gain some shots down the high ground. Rolls a bounce down the frontal armor. This AT gun is after just a two. Good hits there. The Hellcat can just maintain its distance, start picking out that Panther at range. Let's take that Panther out. We're going to take it trying to fall him back. Rolls a bounce there. The enemy is after our victory point. Not a Hellcat. We're seeing massive fire there. Flame engineers do fall back. Down south, got these STG squads and G43 squads advancing away four. Gain a bit of damage onto this rifleman. That was getting a good landmine to the mission there. Main gun destroyed crit. Two, two took some hits there. Flame engineers hit support. That has false or Panzer Strike does finish off the Hellcat there. This Hellcat's starting to fall back there. 2-2 two, two, still getting some damage here. Maybe incendiary grenade there. Calliope rocket battery available. One Ghost player does have access to a Calliope. The other one will soon have access to it, if not already have access to it. Now let's take a look at all the resources. This player has a small reserve of manpower. Basically no munitions and Plenty of fuel. He seemingly has a small amount of manpower, a little bit more munitions, and less fuel. Uh, no upgrades on the supply yard. One upgrade on the supply yard. Hands Elite number one does have access to Humo. And currently has one Panther alive, Mortar Half Track 2 2, and a handful of Panzer Grenadiers. His teammate has also gone for Scorched Earth, has a Humo on the field, has a Panther in the field, Burke and Tiga. Has escaped. I wonder if there's a recovered panther. Is that half health? So maybe that's a recovered panther. And has plane munitions, less Panzer Grenadiers, and a Vestus 3222. Take a bit of damage. The Panzer Grenadier squad does get wiped out. Rifle squad is good. Try, guess, to keep on off. Now in the pursuit. If not, at least just try to gun down the Panzer Grenadier. Down south, Hellcats charging way forward. Gives some damage there on the 2 2 2. The Panzer Grenadier squad does fall back. Depot. And the Panzer Grenadier squad will escape. We do have a Panther now being recovered up there. Looks like it will be fully recovered. Though that Burgundy got oh, that's not full in health anymore. Panzer Grenadier still decapping that fuel point. Flame Engineer is trying to dissuade them. And decides to scorch the fuel point there. Very nice. Though right now the US player has US players have plenty of fuel points at the moment. And they don't really need the pop space. Well, not really that important. VIP rocket barrage raining on in. Hellcat makes way forward. Basically splashed a little bit by the Calliope that may have 
unable to take one more shot. May have splashed it up a little bit. May have destroyed the crit there, so it doesn't get received in death crit. Does not have enough munitions for our allied war machine either. Good AT gun shots there. Takes the Panther, and the Panther out of control allows the gun not to be rotated properly. Good to stay on this Hellcat there. He could try charging forward now. He can use that little war machine to get those guys repaired up, but maybe a good idea to just fold them back, get repaired up to save the missions, as well as potential veteran seat gain. We're losing ground out there. We do have humor barraging. Looks like over here. Got some decent hits there on that Hellcat. Enemy unit down. Most is asking for a screenshot. He thinks that was suspicious barrage. Though to be fair, that's honestly a common spot for people to repair stuff. Taking one of our points. Let me just do get pinned there. Rifle squads make their advance. What's in infection C2? The other one's unvetted. I'm just going to just make their advance. Incendiary grenade has been thrown. Get a bit of damage on the rifleman. Flame machines do get pinned. A rifle squad does fall back. Everything does fall back. And here comes a Calliope rocket barrage. And a small hit there on the Panther. Rocket squad take a bit of damage there. Rifleman trying to repair up this a few points. Probably have to be interrupted. They're halfway done, but they won't complete it. And they do get interrupted there nonetheless. Glide rocket barrage ran right in. That seems like a pretty good shot. Gives a great damage to the Panzer Grenadiers. This can be wide, so it does get some good damage on the bus. Over here, we do have the Panzer Grenadiers before. Get a bit of damage there onto the AT gun. It's a good Pendrick shot onto it as well, and does get decrewed. Another carcass trying to be recovered. That was just good. The park carcass repaired. Allied war machine has been activated. Rolls a bounce there. Does get a kill there and does finish off the panther now. Maybe a good idea to finish off those carcasses since they know about the poor Antigua. I go for some sticky bombs onto it now. That's the rifle squad may be successful. Does get a sticky bomb off there. And now the Hellcat should be able to pursue it no problem. Another pair of Panthers to pull on the field, make their advance. Fully immobilize. Seeky Bomb does connect on this Panther as well. Very good. Damage into crit. And the Burger Ticket may go down. Nope, oh, does get damage into crit. Rolls a bounce there. Another Hellcat pushes way forward. Get some hits there on this Hellcat now. Panther took a hit there. Calliope rocket barrage. Running a little bit farther down. down there, but does finish off the uh Tiga and does miss does not finish off the wounded Let's Panther. Go. So we got a bit of a humo barrage here as well as some other forces. AT gun here and here. One of them severely wounded. Clyde the rocket barrage. Gets put it there onto the Pounds Grandiers. May have got a full wipe there because see four carcasses. Almost live explodes. Exposed. We do have the Panther and to two. Just more or less meandering right there. One of them's a little bit damaged. It does have a damage in crit. AT guns now push way forward. Gives good hits on these fools. Starting to back on off now.
another Hummel Barrage now firing. Here's some artillery up here. Hummel Barrage is running in around here. Rifle squads do fall back there. All the rifle squads do fall back. Level 1 production on the US player we currently have selected. A gun does get a shot there onto the Panther. Now I got some fly beams and barrage just running on in. Does take out a little bit of the stuff with the barrage just missing thanks to the fact that they're firing up around a hillscape. Rifle squads for four gave some damage on the Pentagrandiers. Pentagrandiers now falling on the back. Hellcat charts way forward, but does receive a large number of hits including a panther strike from the Panzer Grandiers. And now we have that Hellcat going down. Large number of bounces in front of armor of the Panther. Rear armor is still in the front. More fans there. This Hellcat may go down. Another stick bomb with the other Hellcat. May get a shorter crit there. And that Hellcat does go down. Great damage on that Panther, but only damage to crit there. Let's get a kill there as much as you want. But the Panther should be able to win out this fight. So we've got more sticky bombs there. I think the Reckons could be able to finish it off. Yeah, now it's fully mobile, so yeah, the Reckons should be able to finish it off, no problem. Good to make the way forward, trying to get some damage. And one. And stick on them too was actually what's needed. Good to now get repaired up while in combat. And we do have another Humo Barrage to somewhere. Rifle squads falling back. Got the Hellcat camouflage here. Getting repaired on up. Does get a bounce. YP taking some shots. Does not have enough munitions for a field repair. Nor does he have it selected. Main gun is short to crit down the Hellcat. Hellcat's now dead. Any rear armor hit there? Capture. Rolls a hit there onto the carcass and it does crush the panther Rolls carcass the there. The Enemy unit down. There is a landmine there. There was a landmine there. Going after one of our munitions points. And now the 5 should be go down rather than soon. Doesn't look good for the allies. They've lost quite a bit of VPs. They're hitting one of our the next players still have a number of light vehicles in the field, but they're slowly being picked off by the Hellcats. Rolls on this on that one. We're losing a fuel sector. And this push way forward. You had these rifle squads advance way forward as well. Both of them C2. This panther wounded. Gained some shots on these for riflemen. Field repairs are now available. Supply line. Does get some good hits there. Territory cut off from supply. Flame engineers making their way down south. Delivery running on in. Gets good hits there on these AT points. guns. The AT gun almost gets wiped out. Rifleman squads push way forward. This BP is currently scorched, so the allies have a double capture against them. Defense Grenadier squad does get ripped apart. Rifle squads do get a pair of bombs on these Panthers. He's been trying to split its array and does puts away. Flamage just capture the central VP and the mission sector. Hellcat here. Engaged by a Panzer Shrek. Does see some hits. Squads maybe eyeing for some more sticky bombs. One does get thrown. Google Barrage does roll in this there. Google Trap has been triggered. Late or no response there. Does get burned up a little bit. And that's these two squads do fall back. Down south, we got a Panther tank, severely wounded. Sector artillery running on in. Blows up that engineer and detonates the fuel tank.
Hubble Barrage. It's from the artillery. Hubble Barrage trying to hit this AT gun. As Grandiers taking a bit of fire here. It does scorch the point before falling back. Right now, the US players have this one currently has plenty of fuel to work with, but it has no fuel income at the moment. And a good amount of manpower, small amount of munitions. His teammate has no manpower, very little munitions, and a large amount of fuel. Doesn't have a tank depot. Penn State player number one has a mass reserve of manpower, good reserve of munitions, and plenty of fuel for the rest of the game. And his teammate right now has a good reserve of manpower, a very, very large reserve of munitions, and plenty of fuel for the rest of the game. Five your rocket barrage raining on in, soften up these units. It does scorch this point here as well. Medic does pick up that casualty. Sector artillery is still running on in up north with the Panzer Grenadiers. All these points are scorched and booby trapped. Shot there, rifle squad bugging over and this one does get pinned. And city grenade is thrown, decurring the AT gun. And we'll be slowly burning on the AT gun, so that's more of a never worth thing with the high enough penetration. Artillery now running in over here. AT gun almost destroyed. We're seeing massive AT gun shots from multiple sources, not getting death crit. And looks like the allies are casting the GG. AT gun or Panther does get sticky bomb and the game's over. This is Angry saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.